Hi cuties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Danielle. Welcome, welcome. And today's video is my top five spring shoes. And these shoes are my most worn. I'm not just gonna throw on a pair of shoes just because I think they're cute, but truly they are my most worn and I just feel like they're essential to a nice preppy feminine wardrobe. So if you're new, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe while you're at it because I see you guys and some of you aren't subscribed and if you're into preppy feminine fashion and like hair videos as well then this channel is for you so hit that button right there for me, it helps me out so much and yeah, since we're on this topic, how about you follow me at PrepsterLexis, I love chit chatting with y'all, y'all, so yeah, if you like me then just go ahead and Hit that subscribe button and follow me at my Instagram. <laughs> so yeah, enough of ra me rambling on because I know you guys want to find out what shoes I love. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay cuties, so the first pair of shoes that I'm going to show you is these adorable loafers. These are my ride or dies and I just feel like they're perfect shoe. So. This is the first pair of shoes that I'm going to show you and I just, these shoes are so lovely and adorable and I just feel like these are just perfect. The most perfect spring transitional shoe with the color, look how adorable this pink is. Like it's not an obnoxious loud pink, it's just a blush pink and I just feel like blush pink is very, very sophisticated and feminine so yeah and I just feel like these are again perfect shoe for a transitional time and if you're if where you reside it is still a tad bit chilly then these are a great shoe now these are newer to my collection these are from J Crew. they are on the more expe expensive side of the spectrum but truly um I'm not saying to go spend $100, $200 on some loafers, that's not realistic for everyone, but I did get these on sale. So as of right now that we're speaking, J. Crew is having a sale. So if you want, I will link these down below. Um, so yeah, and truly they're so, so, so comfortable. Um, as soon as I started walking in them, like my mom can testify that I was like, oh my goodness, these are so comfortable. Now, the only thing that I don't like is they do do a little rubbing on the back of my um, heel, which is fine. Um, but other than that, I've had no problems breaking them in. And again, you guys did see these in my um, 20 outfits from J. Crew, so I will link this up here if you guys want to check that out as well and see what I paired. Okay. So the next pair of shoes are these adorable Steve Madden heels. I just love these. Now, these are a bit more if it's a lot warmer in where you live. Um, I just love these. These are a go-to. And I like these because these are suede. Some people say that they have a hard time washing or cleaning stains off of suede shoes. I honestly have no problem. But... Just to give you guys a better look, these are the shoe. They are a little like kitten heel. Now, ladies, I cannot stress this enough. If you cannot walk in heels, do not pick the most tall heel that you can find. Honestly, me personally, I'm not the greatest in walking in heels. So this is just the perfect amount of height for me and... I don't look like a baby giraffe trying to learn how to walk in heels. So these are a great, great, great starting point for you if you have never worn heels or you're still trying to learn to walk in heels. And again, these nude suede color is just essential. I just wear these with so much. I wear them with dresses. I wear them with skirts. I even wear them with heels. I just love these and I've had these for about a year now. I got them around this time last year and I wore those wore these every day. Every single day. They're just comfortable and I just felt so so good in these because I'm I'm on the shorter side. I'm five foot. So it's always nice to be able to elevate your height just a tad bit. Alright y'all. 
So sticking with the more heel aesthetic is I picked out these super cute Jessica Simpson wedge. Now, this is more of, they are a bit taller but they are thick. So if you want more of a lift, if you want to look a bit more taller, then I just feel like these are a great pair for you and also they are you know, I tend to think of like kitten heels and wedges as your safety net when you're learning to walk in heels. And I just love them. I've had these shoes for over two years. Again, these are Jessica Simpson and these are a go-to. And I just love the fact that they are cream colored, but they also have a tad bit of like a tan color, which is, I love the fact that we have some color blocking here. Love it. Um, as you can tell, they are, they, these are one of my most worn. I've had these again for years and you can tell just by, you know, how they're looking. I might need to replace these soon, but so, so comfortable. And Jessica Simpson, if you go through Belk or Belk.com, they always have sales on Jessica Simpson shoes. So, so now moving on to sandals. I did pick about maybe two pair of sandals. So... You guys know these are my favorite, my Jack Rogers. I love these. Y'all know that I'm just a Jack Rogers type of gal. And right now, they are having a sale. I think they have like 10 or 20% off. Also, Nordstrom is having a really good sale as well. And I did see a few Jack Rogers on sale as well. So, see, I got you. We don't like spending full price if we don't have to. But... Ladies, I do really love these shoes. Now, again, when we are talking about your style, personally, okay? Personally, me, I have a lot of creams, pinks, whites, and navies. So, when you're picking out a Jack Roger, most gals do really go for the gold. But again, I just... Navy for me is a big neutral, like I just have a lot of navies. So I decided to go with something a bit more different and I picked the um, these blues or almost navies kind of come off a little bit grayish in person. So these aren't your typical Jack Rogers because these, ha these are a bit different. Um, they're not as sturdy and they have more of a heel, if you can hear that. And they have a bit of a lift. So, yeah, we love these. So comfortable, so cute. Um, again, now, Jack Rogers are a bit pricey. Um, not gonna lie, they can run between like 80 to 100 and something dollars. Um, but you can always find good dupes for these as well. So I will link dupes and if I can find these, then these, but I will also find similar Jack Rogers to these as well. Um, just for reference, all my size, all my shoes are fives. I have small feet. <laughs> okay, cuties, so the next pair of spring shoes, these are a go-to of mine. Now, these are Jack Rogers as well. Um, I love these. These are a great dupe for the Tory Birch Miller sandal. Um, if you're not really sure if you would like the whole Tory Birch Miller shoe, I feel like these are a great dupe for these. They're really similar. Um, again, these are probably one of my older shoes that I have in this collection. I probably have them probably this coming year is going to be like three years now. And they're still going strong. I love these. Now, I would say these are a bit more of like... Not a flip-flop, because I don't want to call them like a sandal, but they're not a flip-flop. Now, they, they're very sturdy. As you can see, I've worn these a lot. These are a pair of shoes that I come and I grab time after time after time. Now, yes, when I did buy these, these were about maybe $80. Um, but, again, $80 compared to like one something, almost two, is a big difference. Um, so... One thing that I would say, will I end up getting the Tory Burch Miller sandals? Yes, just because these are shoes that I've been wanting for a really, really, really long time. Um, but yes, truly great dupe for the Miller sandal. Hey cuties. So I was debating whether I really wanted to show you this last pair of shoes, but I did say these were five pairs. So 
these are so bad but I wear them so so much and they're just a go to here we go so these I feel like everyone needs a good pair of sneakers in their spring collection now these are my J Crew um, New Balances New Balance does collaborations with J Crew and I just love these these are such an Alexis shoe they're just gold and cream now you can tell they've been worn like these are dirty <laughs> that's honestly what I could they, they just are like these are my go-to I wear them all the time and I get so many compliments when they're clean when they're clean but yes I just love these and I will most likely be repurchasing these very very soon um, because they've just been washed so many times and it's just time to put them to rest they've done me well I've had them since 2016 Christmas of 2016 is when I got them maybe 2015 so yeah they've lasted me so long and I've just wore them out so we are at the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed this video now I will be updating you guys on like when I buy new um, shoes because I have my eye on a few shoes as well um, that I will be incorporating into my spring wardrobe but we'll do that when that time comes and I don't want to buy a shoe and recommend it and then me not liking it like these are my most worn my ride or dies so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and hit that subscribe button like hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so yeah I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.